I love your title, AARP Love and Relationships Ambassador. <laughs> it's so fun. And author, by the way, of the book right behind you, the newly released Places for Passion. Congratulations on the book. Thank you very much. And I, I like the title, too. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I was just talking with my non-AARP age co-workers, and we were all talking about how we'd love to take a vacation, but we just don't necessarily have the time or the resources now. But I guess maybe when you get a little bit older, you do. And so you have some great recommendations for those folks who are looking to get away on a, a romantic trip. Well, you know, I just want to say that I think you may have more time than you think. I mean, sometimes I think we make choices about how we use our time and we don't realize that if we took some of that back, you know, um, for a, a, just even a day, even one night away, how important it would be for our relationship. It's true that when we looked at this whole group of people that we found not enough people taking vacations. 15% of the people we surveyed said they'd had a romantic vacation in the last two years. And a great many of them, the majority of them, had been together in a relationship a long time and were empty nesters. But let me tell you that when you're young, this is the time to build your relationship strength. And it needs time away. It needs that privacy. It needs that novel experience together. It has to remember that it's not all work. A lot of it is play and love and intimacy. And the two of you need to give that to each other. I like the way you think. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> All right, so if you convince me now I need to okay. find the time, how do I figure out where to go? Well, we have a tool at AARP that's available for people of all ages. It's called travel.aarp.org. And you could put in, you know, what you both want, whether it's a beach where you can veg or a city where you can see great museums or mountains to climb, whatever it is, you put it in there and then it'll spit back out at you, you know, definite uh, uh, possibilities. Um, sometimes within three hours of your city, if you say you want a weekend getaway, you can give your location. Oh. Of course, I hope I have done inspiring places to go in Places for Passion, the 75 most the, the, the 75 uh, most um, romantic destinations in the world and in the book which is featured on travel.aarp.org it'll tell you what price they are and the kinds of everything from the walks to go on to the restaurants the hotels and we keep a budget in mind because not everybody can pay a lot but you don't have to pay a lot to get romance you really don't Hmm, I like that even more. Let's talk about that. I mean, it's the new year. A lot of people make resolutions, and sometimes it's to be a little bit more careful with money. So you mentioned money. The average cost of maybe a getaway like this, what are we talking about financially? Well, it depends. I mean, if you want to do a getaway overnight, you could probably do it soup to nuts for a couple hundred bucks. You know, you could find a nice inexpensive place to stay and you could uh, find a cafe that was that was warm and cozy and romantic, but not, you know, a five course dinner that was going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, there's always a, there's always a budget choice. My uh, my favorite example of this is in Montana where you could go to Rainbow Ranch and have a beautiful rustic place with a fireplace and a gorgeous view for, you know, under $150, uh, depending on when you went. Or you could go to Paws Up that was in Montana and pay $1,200 for this over-the-top experience. But you'd have a great time in either one. And a lot of downtown hotels, for example, hold, you know, sort of sales where you could go for $99. Wow. And just even going downtown in your own place um, and getting one of these great you know, deals that come up every so often. You can often look at Groupon or, again, on the AARP.org uh, site to see what's, what's going on. Um, Expedia runs budget stuff all the time. I think what you have to do is not think it doesn't happen, but it does, and you just have to find it. We only have 30 seconds left, but I want to ask you, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do you think a getaway like this is something you should plan together as a couple, or is it something that maybe one surprises the other with as a romantic getaway, say, for Valentine's Day? I think if you're going to surprise someone, you better know them very well and remember that it's not what you want. You want to make sure it's what you both want, because sometimes people pick just for themselves, and that's not so great. I think it's wonderful to plan together. I think it's romantic to plan together. 
Um, but again, if you know that your surprises have worked in the past, you're okay. If you've had some unpleasant outcomes, hey, just plan. It'll be a fantastic experience. I like the way you think. <laughs> you're on to something. I appreciate your time today. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, so thank you so much for having me and, and mentioning my book, Places for Passion. And I hope people will go to travel.arp.org and find a wonderful getaway. Um, and I think you should do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thanks.